the following Wicked Turtle Network presentation has strong language and strong content. Viewer discretion is advised. The penguins in the house. The penguins in the house. Wicked Turtle represent that Wicked Turtle Network with the new episode. Three, two, one. Here we go. What up, what up, what up, each, what up. What up, peeps? It's your boy, the penguin. And welcome back to the show that's titled by the intro, What Up, peeps? What's up, Wicked Turtle Nation? Welcome back to the show. It's your boy, the penguin. We're doing a What Up, Peeps show again. I got two great movies to talk about, but before we talk about those and life in general, let's talk about our sponsor, Ray's. Wicked Turtle has joined the hashtag Raise Rebellion with Raise Energy Drinks. Raise Energy Drinks gives you fresh, which stands for focus, recovery, energy, stamina, hydration, and with giving you no crash. Raise has zero sugars with electrolytes and BCAA aminos, so hashtag Raise Up and go to your local GNC or vitamin shop or 7-Eleven now and pick up a can today or go to repsports.com, order in bulk, type order code, Wicked Turtle at checkout for 15% off your order. And that code will be in the description of this broadcast. So, uh, like I said, before we get started, we do talk a little bit about Rays. Give them a little bit of highlight. So, uh, I have been highlighting one drink in particular that I really like. Um, it is the, and you guys can't see if you're listeners, I'm sorry. It is the Sunny's Tea right now. The Rays Energy Drink Sunny's Tea. This is like an Arnold Palmer, but energy drink. Really good. Doesn't have that energy drinky type taste. So I uh, I pick yourself up a 12 pack there and uh, use your code uh, Wicked Turtle for your 50% off. Um, they also have other things. They also have like uh, uh, pancakes that you can make that are protein pancakes that are really good. I've had some of those really, 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 really good. Um, they also have your pre-workouts and stuff like that. And uh, sleep aids. Mel- melatonin, which is like a thing now. This is the Duke. This is his new show. I'll post his link in the in the description uh, so you guys can um, check him out. Please head over to his YouTube page. He does uh, food reviews, drink reviews, shows. Anything that sparks his interest, he does a review on. He's also doing gaming over there. I just saw that he's doing... So check out the Duke with his new channel. Check that out, guys and gals. Nation. I'm just going to refer to you guys as Nation. So check it out, Nation. Go over there. Give them a, give them a like. Give them a follow. Give them, give them a subscribe. Give them some views. And also, while you're doing subscribes and you're doing views and stuff like that, check out Wicked Turtle. I know you guys, if you guys are watching this on YouTube, please, if you're watching it, please hit the subscribe. Please like this video. Um, those things help us get on the, let other people see our stuff. And I'm really trying to build the channel, and I've been really trying really hard to build the channel. And I'm only doing it by myself. So, so the best and easiest way to do it is to like this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, because that gets us out to other people who can see our content. Plus, you're also going to like some really good content. So we got good stuff here. Yes. Um, let's talk about life. I want to know. You know what? I'll do one more promotion. Um, also, check out my new, my latest video that's up. The new International Snacks Part 4 is up where we talk about the golden fried chicken. And we talk about the Pepsi Zero Chicken Bucket. Uh, those were awesome. I'm not going to give uh, too much of that out because... Um, I want you to go over there and check out the video and uh, leave me a comment. Um, you can also message me on on Facebook at the Wicked Turtle Network. Um, I do answer my comments and I do answer all my messages. So uh, definitely uh, reach us out. Do give us a subscribe. That's the best thing to do is to subscribe right here on the YouTube channel. And um, I guarantee you're not going to be dissatisfied with the content that we that I put out. 
So, all right, let, let's do a little life update. I like to do that here on What Up Peeps. Um, so uh, I went camping over Memorial Day weekend. And by the way, happy Memorial Day weekend. If you guys had a great one, I know this is this is way past Memorial Day, but I hope you guys had a good one, a safe one. And I hope everybody out there just had fun and recognized uh, why we celebrate Memorial Day. It's not just because of the drinking and fun and all that good stuff. It's also because there are people who laid down their lives for the freedoms that we have here in the United States. If you're not from the United States, um, I just say thanks for being here. And um, if you do support any type of your military or anything that you guys, I don't, I don't really know how who all watches this and what 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 country you're from, but um, yeah, support your military if if they're a great military, because there there's people out there that that are defending your honor. So that's all I can say about that. But uh, happy Memorial Day here in the United States um and uh bless all the all the veterans that 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 fought to have the freedoms that we have here in the United States. So okay, so let, let's get started. I took the camper out finally. You guys have known me now a little bit now. Uh my my fans have known me that I have this camper that I bought. It's called a Sylvan Go. Um it's from Sylvan Sport. So we uh we officially hooked it up to the old Tesla. My wife took this picture while I was driving. Um, you can see, you can see the Sylvan go in the back, back there and you see bears there too. Um, yeah, more on that. Um, we, we, uh, we took him with us. He did do a very good job. Um, if there's anybody out there that's ever had a dog that deals with separation anxiety, I would like to have some tips, some tricks. Uh, is there medication I can do to help him, um, for when we're not around him for situations like this? So uh, that would be fantastic to have some help there. So if anybody there knows anything about this type of stuff, uh, please message, uh, comment below, and uh, let me know about what you've done with your dog to get to have him calm down with these types of uh, things. Um, yeah, let's go on to the next next reel here. There's there's the whole setup there. Um, that was the morning after. Uh, I was getting coffee ready on the Blackstone. Uh, it was fun. That was fun trying to get coffee ready. Um, yeah, <laughs> like it, it took a little bit for it to boil. And if anybody knows me, I want my coffee and I want it now. I want today. I want tomorrow. Just kidding. Uh, comment if you know what that is from, too. Uh, but anyways, um, yeah, I was getting I was getting coffee ready for my wife and we we had a nice little fire going and stuff like that. Um here I am again in my setting here. I'm making food. I'm making a, I'm making a stir fry, uh, egg, egg stir fry, egg fried rice, egg fried rice. That's what it is. Egg fried rice with uh, chicken. I made some chicken too. But uh, uh, if you guys see over there, we had some really good neighbors. Uh, shout out to them. If they're listening right now, I gave them some of my stickers. Uh, shout out to them. Uh, they were fun people to talk to. They're from New Jersey. They're from, uh, they gave me so, a lot of great tips, like especially for camping. And uh, they're telling me about Cape May and stuff like that. And we really talked to, to each other there. They're, they're Philadelphia fans. Uh, so, but we, we had a good, I had a good time being their neighbors, just talking to them. I apologize about my dog being just a nuisance. I had to take him home, by the way. So that was, that was fun. Um, but yeah, those were great people. Had a lot of fun. We were also there with our friends. Uh, we did have some friends there. Uh, we had some friends from Scouts. We had the riders that were there, Mike and Melissa, and their and their two boys. That that was a lot of fun to have them there. It was good to talk to them, hang out with them, uh, break bread, and all that good stuff. We had we had a great we had a blast. It was a lot of fun. Um, oh, our boy, our <laughs> speaking about Wicked Turtle, our boy J Rod, aka Earl, Alex's brother, um, was there, and so was the Honda Ronda the 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 patriarch was there too and uh and we saw jackie and it was cool we were hanging out with them and i shared some of my uh, egg fried rice with, with jared it was his birthday by the way belated happy birthday to j rod and uh earl aka earl um but yeah we had i had a blast talking to him and just catching up and had a blast talking to Rhonda and seeing her because i haven't seen her in a little bit and jackie jack hay it was fun. We had a good time and a good time talking to her. And it was good to see them people. It was good seeing the riders when they were there. It was good meeting the staff there at Hickory Run Campground. 
shout out to them. Shout out to Hickory Run Camp- Campground. Uh, the staff there was fantastic. Um, they catered to almost all your needs that you wanted. The store was fantastic. They had a lot of, they had some really dry wood. Uh, <laughs> but other than that, they were really cool. I apologize for my dog. I apologize for um, not returning the wood thing, <laughs> which was too, too little. Oh, you know, on me. But um, it was all in all, after we got rid of those little things, the anxiety went down. We took the dog home. Uh, I did what I was supposed to do. And it, it turned out to be a really good time. Good meals. I made delicious pancakes the one day. Uh, egg sandwiches. The Blackstone was 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 kicking ass, man. Like It was awesome. Uh, the kitchen that you saw in this photo right uh, here. Uh, you see the kitchen there. Awesome. Uh, the gazebo here you can see we had fires that were just amazing there was a, there was a concert if you guys see those colored lights there um there's and, and for the people who are listening there are colored lights in, in the corner here we had a concert and it was just fun there's some pictures of the lake that was there they had two lakes there one was for fishing one was for boating but i'm pretty sure you could fish the whole thing um we also had we also did uh the last night there we you can see there was nobody there on um uh, I think this might have been Sunday night. Yeah, I think it was Sunday night. There was nobody there. So we just roasted some weenies on the on the fire, which was awesome. Um, had a good time there with that. Uh we also went swimming, which was awesome. And yo, shout out to my son. Uh little penguin is really embracing the water, becoming the fish that he's supposed to be. Um, it's awesome that he's doing stuff like this and he's loving swimming. Uh, we just went swimming this past Sunday too, and he just we couldn't get him out of the pool. Um, so it was awesome. It was really really cool to see him do stuff like that and just in, embrace the water. He had a good time too, man. We we played a campground baseball game. I bought a big ball and big bat, and we played a, ba- a campground baseball game, which was fun. I'm probably gonna do that with the scouts if we can. So it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. So, yeah. Excuse me for yawning. <laughs> Had a little yawn that come out right there. But here's here here's a picture of the Tesla with our whole camping setup. Now we were pretty much. I had I had the kitchen set up already packed up to go. This was Sunday night. I had this set up to go. Um, towing was pretty easy. Um, we were only 20 minutes away, so for us, it was pretty easy to, to tow with the Tesla. I mean, we only lost like a percentage. That was it. Other than that, it was very easy to, to tow with the Tesla. It was fun. Um, I did have a little anxiety a little bit. It did got me a little nervous because, you know, I'm pulling a $15,000 thing, plus the car is mad expensive. So it's like, you know, there's a lot of, lot of money right here in Jeopardy. So it was, it was fun the whole trip was just fun that's all i can say we had a grand time and can't wait for our next one which is camp soterra which is awesome it's little that's another campground it's literally right down the road from us uh we we went there a couple of years ago i think it was and we had a great time there it was a lot of fun um we got the same spot we had before which is like number one spot which we can just go and everything's close by like the wood is right there the pond is right there so we can go fishing so a lot of fun a lot of fun there um yeah that's that's basically it um that's basically caught up on life there like i said again here i'm gonna post this back up one more time please if you haven't done so please after you're done watching this video head on over check out the internet international snacks part four uh it was my fried chicken dinner with uh fried chicken pringles and I think they're from Malaysia and fried chi- and the fried chicken bucket Pepsi Zero. It's actually Pepsi Zero Lemon from Japan. So please check those out. Thank you. And uh, let's let's get into the homework. The homework. Um, I watched. Uh, I watched the Ant Man Wasp Quantum Mania, and I watched the Air movie, which is Nike. Um, let's talk about. Let's talk about Ant Man and Wasp first. Okay. I've watched these movies. I've watched both Ant Man, Ant Man and Wasp, and now this one, Quantum Mania. I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of Paul Rudd. Excuse me, I yawned again. But uh, yeah, I'm a fan of Paul Rudd, and it's he does good work. 
I like I like him as Ant Man. I he just needs to continue doing this this character. Uh, it it seems like it's a role that's suitable for him. And this 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 was interesting to go into a whole new world into the quantum realm. Uh, very interesting um, concept and everything that's in there and just how things would look. Very 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 small. And yeah, um, it's very. It was this movie visually was stunning. Uh, the Ant Man process, the, the his daughter having the powers, all that was cool. Like it was, it's, it's. How do I put? It? It's not one of my favorite Marvel movies, but continuing with the storyline, it's it's good. You know, it's okay. And it's something that, you know, I think that we can embrace, if you know what I mean. I'm sorry if I have a little pause there, but I'm trying to think of the word embrace this movie for in, in the Marvel Universe itself. And that's basically how we're going forward here with Marvel movies. That this is, you can't really rank them all up because, to be honest, Endgame was like the best. Endgame was awesome. Endgame was one of those amazing movies that I don't think we'll ever see anything like that. Like the last movie when I said, the last show when I said about Mario, uh, it's it comes a time when there's just one of those movies that just, you know. And I'm excited, unless they can blow it away with something that's ending with this. Now, we, they did have some uh, controversy with the actor that plays Kang. So that's going to be interesting how they're going to replace him. So they have not given an, a, out anything for that yet. And we'll see what happens with uh, coming soon. By the way, you guys like my new cup? I'm holding up my new Sheets cup. I got one of those uh, Stanley-esque type cups. And I like it. <laughs> it really holds my drinks nice and cold. I had coffee in it this morning, but it was just way too much coffee, so I had to add ice to add iced coffee. But uh, yeah, I like my my sheets cup. But this this movie is it's good. Like it's don't get me wrong. Like it's not like one of those. It's, it's a Marvel movie, and I'll just say there. It's it's a Marvel movie. It's it's good. It has all all the cool points are there. You know, it's definitely watchable. It's it's on Disney Plus right now. So if you have Disney Plus, you can stream it right now for free. We're using your Disney membership. And uh, yeah, I actually encourage you to watch this movie and give me your thoughts of them. Please come to comment below in the comments. What did you think about Ant Man? Quantum Mania. Did you like the interesting facts of the quantum realm and all the different species, animals, and races that are in there you know and different like people like it was just like a thing like it was like a whole ecosystem of people and things and animals and weird just weird stuff like <laughs> bill murray was in it like come on man you know like there was just like there's a lot of cool things and it was awesome I, you know, Henry Pym's wife was in it and she was just like this badass, you know, I, I liked it. Um, my score, uh, if I have to score it, I'm going to give it a seven and a half. It's definitely still a good watch. It's, it's not something that I would just like give it a pooper. Um, but it was a good watch. It was a good watch, a good movie. Um, good Marvel movie. How's that? You know? All right, let's let's move on to air. I was not interested in this whatsoever, and I'm thinking to myself, "Ugh, a Nike movie," because that's basically what this is about. But then that's what I thought about Nike. What? But no, it's about the deal that Jordan made. Because if anybody knows anything about basketball shoes, Air Jordans are the best shoes out there. And uh, his deal that he got, like, I'm pretty sure I'm, if, I make, if I'm mistaken, he has an office in Nike because the deal that he got was something that you don't see often. Like, he was getting a basketball shoe named after him called the Air Jordans. 
he put in his deal. Now, here's what's crazy. He did not, and what blew my mind is he didn't even like Nike. He hated Nike. In fact, he loved Adidas more than anything. I was like, what? And he wore Converse in college, which was weird. But this whole movie was about that whole deal. And I'm going to be frank with you. This is a surprise. This movie was pretty good. Like, I was impressed on the, like, it kept my attention in this movie. It was pretty darn good. Like, it was, it's something I might rewatch again. Um, I like the idea of this concept for him, and I didn't even know the details of his contract. And in it, like, he gets a certain percentage of all the Air Jordans that are sold in his name. So that's crazy. It, you want to talk about side hustle game? He had his basketball career. This year is probably what made him money because it, just think about it. Jordans are so, so a thing. Everybody is using an air. They're collecting air Jordans. They, they put them on for like a day maybe and then put them back on the shelf and don't touch them. Some people put Jordans in a case. Like sneakerheads is a thing. It is definitely, a, as a collector standpoint, it is one of the top tier collections to have nowadays. And to see the contract behind that, that was that invented it, to see the process of that shoe, that first shoe being invented and how he wasn't allowed to wear red and black shoes on court that it had to be a certain amount of white that Nike also put in their contract that every time he wore them and got a fine, they would pay his fine. Like these are things that are just absolutely absurd and crazy to me. And I was like, wow, this movie is very cool and informative to tell you about the details of this contract. Cause that's basically what this movie is about. It's about the contract that Michael Jordan signed to it's, it's a side hustle. You know, and it's going to make him a gazillionaire even till he dies. You know what I'm saying? Because it's 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 a crazy deal. He got crazy. Mo In fact, his money wasn't even that much. I think his upfront money was two hundred forty five thousand something like or two hundred fifty thousand. Uh, that's crazy. That's crazy nowadays. And by the way, if you guys see Barry is in the house, by the way, he's just sleeping, which is a good thing. But uh, yeah, that that's crazy money. By the way, that's just absurd, crazy money. Like, it's not even that much nowadays. Like, people get paid millions of dollars to do endorsement deals. Like, his endorsement deal was 250000 But the kicker was, is that, oh, he got a car too, by the way. He got a car, but the kicker was, he got a percentage of each shoe that's sold, which is, it's like a licensing. He licensed out his name, which is, if you guys ever watch Shark Tank, that's like a thing. You should have a licensing deal. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty cool and uh i highly recommend this movie uh it is on if i ain't mistaken it is on amazon prime so if you have amazon prime video check it out it might be coming to peacock soon i think i think it might be it might even be on peacock it's been a while since i've been on peacock so i don't know but i do know it's on amazon prime video it is oh because oh you know what it is on amazon it, that's the streamer because when the credit when the opening when the opening credits roll up, the beginning, the opening intro, it says Amazon Studios. So, yeah, it's definitely on Amazon Prime Video. But it'll probably eventually be on Blake Peacock and stuff like that. But this was definitely a a watch. And I'm going to give this, and I hate to do this because I kind of liked, I did like Ant-Man too, and I don't want you to know that Ant-Man was a little bit lower than this, but I'm going to give this an 8. This is a solid 8, and I would totally rewatch this. I'm a sports guy. I like sports, and uh, th th I also like uh, I also love Shark Tank. So I love like contracts and stuff like that. So this here is fantastic to watch if you're th those types of fans. If you like that type of stuff, um, if you're a sports guy and you like sports, uh, it's definitely a sport or, or, or girl. I'm sorry, sports girl. Um, if you're a, a sports person, uh, you will love this. You'll love this movie. Uh, it is. Actually, I can't believe that they, they, they it, what's funny was it came out the same time as the Mario Brothers, but came to streaming earlier before the Mario Brothers movie. So I don't think it did well at the box office, but I don't know why, because this is actually not a bad watch. It's a really good watch. Uh, it was a lot of fun to watch. 
and I highly recommend it. So it gets a thumbs up from the penguins. So definitely uh, go on Amazon Prime Video. Give it a try, man. Just give it a try. All right. Um, yeah, those, those are my two movies. Uh, next time, uh, uh, I'll have two more, and I'm trying to figure out what they are right now. I've been trying. I was thinking about maybe opening up a series and going back and doing some retro stuff since I don't have a lot of new movies to talk about. I was thinking about uh, Indiana Jones uh, collection now is on Disney Plus, so I was thinking about maybe going back and rewatching all the Indiana Joneses, including the Crystal Skull one. Blech. But we'll go back and we'll watch it and we'll, we'll get our two cents into it because the new Indiana Jones movie is coming on to uh, the th movie theaters and I might go see that. And also, another thing I was thinking about too is the Transformer movies. All the Transformer movies are, are Transformers is coming out too. And I kind of want to see that too. And there's there's I think there's another one too, if I ain't mistaken, that's coming out that... I really got to go back and like the Fast and Furious. I haven't seen the new Fast and Furious movies, but I should go back and rewatch all of them because just to get me caught up. So I might have some collection ones that are coming up soon in the pipeline where I might do maybe two to three movies to just to get us into the series and start maybe like I might have like a special series and I might also also branch off too if I go and I see some of the newer movies or anything else. I just watched all the Bad Boys movies just recently. I should review all those, but I've already did one of the Bad Boys already with with the Kilowatt, so you know. So but uh yeah, I mean we'll see. The only way to find out what I'm doing is to follow us, man, and to follow us and that and that's a good segue. For promotions, let's check out the promotions right now. Yeah, check it out. Check us out. Wicked Turtle Network is on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. We're also on Twitter at Wicked Turtle Net, and we're on TikTok at the Wicked Turtle Network. Um, check us out there. Also, we have a, a link tree in the description of this video. If you're listening, you can still find the link tree in your descriptions. You just got to go um, into your phone. Tap on the uh, more or, or extra details or whatever right there, and you'll see the link tree in there. Click the link tree. You'll see all our socials in there. You'll see everything. You'll see stuff that I don't even have posted on here. Like, you'll see everything on there. And just go in there and give us a follow for everything because I post on almost everything on here. I post on Facebook, which is still the bread and butter. I post on the Instagram, which is another big thing. YouTube, which you're watching us from right now. Um, the Twitter... <sighs> I gotta get I gotta get into Twitter. I'm not a big Twitter guy. But uh TikTok, I definitely do the TikToks because it's video and that's my thing. That's my jam. Um, if you want to, uh, you could take a snapshot of this video right now. Okay. I'll take the ticker off. You can take a snapshot of this video right now in the corner right here. You'll see a QR code right here. If you snapshot this, go back into your photos. It will automatically, you'll see a little thing on your iPhone, for instance. There's like a little button. Uh, it'll see this. It'll see this QR code, and, and that's my link tree QR code, and it'll take you to all my socials and stuff, which is cool. Um, also, uh, yeah, also, again, please go over and say hi to the Duke. Uh, he's worked real hard on his content. He's doing. He's just went to a wrestling show. He's back into wrestling in, in Williamsport, which is awesome. He's doing what he loves. He's happy, and us as friends, we're doing really good as friends. Just as you know, we're not working together, but we're as friends. But we're promoting each other as friends, and we're, we're we talk as friends. Like the when I came back from Memorial Day, he asked me how my Memorial Day was. I asked him how he was. So, you know, same thing. So, but still, f help him out. Go over, give him a like, give him a follow, give him a share, give him a give him whatever you can do. Subscribe, uh, give him the views. If you don't want to subscribe or whatever, just give him some views. Same thing here. If you don't want to subscribe, give us some views. So, all right, I've rambled enough today, and you know, I thank you guys for stopping by. Uh, thanks for being here. Thanks for supporting the channel. Thanks for the views. Thanks for everything that you do. Remember, you are awesome. And I will see you again real soon. Love, Lamb. Thank you for tuning in to another Wicked Turtle Network exclusive. Follow us on all things Wicked. 
by clicking the link tree in the description of this video. I'd like to take the time now to thank Raise Energy Drinks as being the official sponsor of the Wicked Turtle Network. Raise Energy Drinks gives you fresh, what stands for focus, recovery, energy, stamina, and hydration, with giving you no crash. Raise Energy Drinks has zero sugar, electrolytes, and BCAA aminos. Hashtag raise up and go to your local GNC vitamin shop and get yourself a raise or go to repsports.com and where you can order all your raise in bulk by putting in promo code Wicked Turtle for 15% off your order. And that will be in the description of this video.